Blog Talk Radio. Chatting with Nat is a podcast for independent women seeking to speak their truth and to break down barriers. We host honest conversations that help to guide and empower women. Speak your truth and set yourself free. Let your voice be heard. Hi, it's Natalie Jean again, Natalie Jean Nat, and you're with Chatting with Nat. Today, we have R&B artist and entrepreneur, Satoria. Satoria is a singer-songwriter and model who fell in love with the way music made her feel at the tender age of six. Born in Florida, Satoria began singing in church and school choirs and also explored the art of theater as she participated in many musical plays. With the attempts to master other instruments, such as various percussion, keyboard, and the flute, she soon discovered that a pen, pad, and microphone were the only tools needed to make her statement. Raised in the Washington, D.C. area, Satoria continues to make her mark by regularly performing with various bands along the East Coast and executing energetic and soulful tunes. Her first single, Shorty, released in May of 2014, hit the ground running with international recognition and is also on the soundtrack of the award-winning independent film, Love Him or Leave Him. The movie was awarded Best Original Score at the Philadelphia Independent Film Awards in May 2016. So everyone, let's get a round, 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 round of applause for Satoria. So here we go. Hi, Satoria. Thank you for that beautiful introduction, Nat. I appreciate that. Ah, that was off of your website. <laughs> it's your bio. I yeah, can't take the whole thing. The whole thing was just, I was like, I can't read the whole thing because it's very long. Oh my yeah. gosh, you could just kept going with it, okay? <laughs> you had yeah, to bust no, my bubble. I, yeah, no, I, I didn't. It's not busting your bubble. It's just like I took it up. It, it's you. It's you. It's it all of you. It's beautiful. It was still a beautiful introduction. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Um, okay. So you are a singer, a vocalist, singer songwriter. Um, you do it all basically, um, and you're an entrepreneur. Before we get into the music, we're, let's start with uh, "Say My Name," the aromatherapy. How did you get started in that? Well, um, you know, it, it's the whole aroma. It's, it's an aromatherapy line now, but it started out just as just a candle. Um, right. I basically someone who used to make candles, and I'm like, hey, do you do customized? You know, and um, so we worked some things out, um, and it started just like that. But throughout the years, it took me three years just to develop that candle into what it is now. Um, and now it's not only a scented candle, but candle, but now it's an aromatherapy candle, and it mm. also um, the massage oil. You know, it's, it's an aromatherapy candle, but it also turns into a, a massage oil. So, you know, from three years, just from one small idea, it turned into something totally different. Right. And so that's how that began. It started from one um, candle, and then um, I developed, I'm like, you know what, why stop there? I um, I have an aromatherapist that I do work with. So that scent was customized. We sat there in the lab mixing stuff with beakers, you know, just like, you know, really, really, we really formulated that, um, that scent. And it's a scent to um, really, uh, it, it's for relaxation, you know, to help alleviate headaches. You know, the essential oils that are in there, they are really for a lot of mental healing, you know. Um, so we worked very hard on that. So now we also have not only a candle, we have a body butter, body spray, you know, room spray. You know, it's really grown, and I'm just really, really, really excited about it. That's awesome. Yes, I was intrigued by the recent, uh, cre- your recent creation. Um, when I looked at it, I saw that it looked like um, ice cream. Yeah, yeah, you know, so I, because I'm a, really a true believer in aromatherapy and how it heals, um, I wanted to, you know, create a, something else. I, uh, we started doing body butters. Um, we also have a, a line called Satin, 
And um, so we have, like, the tropical flavors. We really try to stick to whatever the season is for those. But we also have a dessert line that's oh. a part of, which is the, the body butter line. And um, it, the dessert line has aromatherapy um, essential oils in it. You know, okay. once again, for relaxation, you know, we have a little bit of spearmint in there. So if, any, if you know about spearmint as an mm. essential oil, you know, all of the, the helping agents that spearmint has to, you know, kind of, you know, it relaxes you, but also it gives you, you know, just a little uh, a lift to, to, you know, it doesn't do what peppermint does. Peppermint will give you energy, but this will right. give you some the energy, but on a relaxed type of mode. So mm. um, we have two flavors right now, and it, this this brand is really, really exciting because it's extra whipped to, like you said, you know, it looks like ice cream. So it's mm. extra whipped, you know, extra light, you know, extra creamy. Um, once again, it's essential oils in there. It's all natural. You know, everything is all natural. Um, so um, it, we have two flavors right now. We have the mint white chocolate and mint milk chocolate. Those mm. are the two flavors that we have. They smell amazing. My house always smells like chocolate because I'm always making body butter. <laughs> you know, wow. um, but like I said, that's yeah, that's that's our new line, the dessert line. But you know, in the um, the regular satin line, we have um, cucumber melon and we have sweet mango. Two other, you know, very very good flavors. This is making me hungry. Um, so what about? What about you also have T-shirts. You kind of have a clothing line as well, right? Well, yeah, a T-shirt line, and it's really motivation—a motivational line. You know, everything that I want to um, put out as far as you know, a Key Elite Boutique, which is the name of the online store, and that's shopkeyelite.com, which is the website. Um, everything on there is to really boost. Uh, positive mental health and just positivity. So we do have a T-shirt line, and we have the first line. Um, it's called the hashtag hustle um, line, and so we have T-shirts and we also have um, hoodies. That you know, the hoodies aren't on; they aren't available for sale yet, but they're coming to the website okay. soon. So right now, we just have a T-shirt line, and it's basically to motivate you. You know, on you know, what are you doing right now? Right now, everyone has some sort of you know, you're doing something. Even either you're trying to get through school, you're hustling those, you know, you're hustling that, or you know, you're out here. You may be a single mom with two and three kids, or you yeah. know, you're trying to get to the next level in your in your business. Whatever you're doing, uh, there are a lot of driven people out there. So this apparel line um, and hashtag hustle is just the first slogan, but we have other things coming on. But everything will have something to do with motivating you and, and helping us to, you know, get that extra oomph to just go further, you know? That's awesome. Um, so what else do you have coming with the aromatherapy line? Anything else new? Well, at, I'm glad you asked that because, um, you know, we do have another scent that, I, that we're working on. Um, with the Say My Name right now, the scent that we have is more for relaxation. And let me tell you a little bit about the candle. Like I said before, it's not only an aromatherapy candle when you burn it, but um, the wax, once you burn it, the wax turns into a massage oil. And it does that because the candle is all natural. Um, we use soy wax and we also use coconut wax. And those two waxes, they're very, first of all, they're good moisturizers for the skin. And secondly, they burn cool, cooler. Um, so you can pour it right on you, actually, and it's nice and warm. It won't burn the skin, you know. And inside of the candle, it has all, you know, natural ingredients, you know, cocoa butter, you know, jojoba oil, you know, all these natural ingredients to help moisturize the skin, you know, anti um agents, you know, we have mm -hmm. vitamin E in there, you know. Um, so we have all those great things. And on top of that, we have the essential oils that are for the relaxation and alleviate the, um, alleviation of headaches, you know, just more to get you into just to just to calm you down a little bit because right now the world is kind of crazy. So we need to be able to, you know, get into our zen. We need to be able to relax. And so this is what would help you do that. Now that's what we have out now. What we have coming up, um, mm -hmm. I wanted to do something a little different. So I did meet back with my aromatherapist, and in a couple of months we're going to release another line, an uh, extension to the Say My Name, and it's going to be another um, essential oils blend line um, that will do the opposite. It will get you up and give you energy. And, and you know, the essential oils that we're using, it will give you, you know, um, it, 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 the agents are more energizing and help you, to, you know, pick me up. 
not to relax, but to get you motivated and get you, you know, ready to go and get out there in the world and just conquer it. <laughs> you know, just something to pick you up. That's awesome. Have you ever thought about infusing some of your aromatherapy with CBD? Sure, because you asked me about that last year, and I told you I got you. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. You know, that's coming in the works, too. Hmm. So your hands are, your, your, your plate is full with, with aromatherapy, but it's great that you're doing something that enhances, uh, that creates and enhances a, a positive world. Um, because like you said, yeah. past six years have been cray cray and, you know, we're still dealing and working in a pandemic. And so, uh, I think we need more and more of that kind of stuff, um, in the world. How, how have you been during the pandemic? Um, actually, you know, the, pand- the pandemic has all, um, offered me some time to be still, you know, mm-hmm. because I, I'm not gigging much, but it, it also has given me a time um, in a moment of reflection. Um, so I've been doing a lot more writing during the pandemic, and, you know, I'm getting ready to release a song. You know, the projects that I, um, you know, I, I'm getting ready to release, I'm getting ready to release an EP, you know, that I can't say the date when it's coming out, but I can let you know that I do have a single that will be out um, in a few weeks, and um, I'm really excited about it. It's called Back to Me. You know, we're in the studio working on it now, um, and it's also about healing, um, you know, because I have a history of dealing with depression, and so, mm-hmm. you know, there's a lot of people in the world who have dealt with that, and this project is basically speaking to how, you know, we're getting ourselves together. And like I said, 2020 was a moment of reflection for me. So it right. had, I really sat back and I thought about, okay, you know, why am I, why do I keep doing this and mm-hmm. getting, you know, just, you know, certain things that I, that I felt were holding me back where I was holding myself back, you know, when you have this time out to really think through, you know, how can I really improve my life? You know, right. we may be happy and everything may be great, but it can always get better. Or we may not be in a good place, but we need to think about how is it going to get better. So, you know, that's what I did. It took me a year to write this song because it took me a year to really get through all my own mess. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, aromatherapy has helped me with that. So, you know, that's another reason why I really um, love the brands that I am promoting as far as my aromatherapy line because they're true to you know, what's going on with me, you know, and I want to be able to help someone else. So um, through the pandemic, more writing, self-reflection, I have some new projects coming out. Um, My song Back to Me will be out in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm really excited. And like I said, you know, I'm hoping that it will be able to to speak to someone um, who Mm -hmm. may need, you know, just pick her up or then once you pick that up, then you can go to the store, you know, buy a hashtag hustle t-shirt and get back on your grind and, you know, just kind of like, it's all about uplifting and inspiring. You know, have you ever thought, now nobody's ever thought about doing this. Have you ever thought about pairing your music with your aromatherapy line? Meaning that, so, so, you know, they pair wines with certain cheeses. I know that there's a thing called pairing wine with music. You could pair, um, Hell, you could pair, pair aromatherapy with a sp- particular or specific wine, or you could create your own wine, or you could pair your aromatherapy with one of your songs. An idea. Well, I, well, my my last single that was released was called "Say My Name." Right. So that song was paired with the candle. The candle was named after the song. Right, that's right. Yeah, but I never thought about the whole wine deal. Now you see now my, now my my wheels are spinning now. <laughs> my wheels are spinning, Natalie. You know that yeah. may be next. Um, because yeah, there's all be next. there's all wine. I mean, you, there's I think there's infused hemp wine. If, if somebody wanted to do like a yeah. CBD wine, or you could have yeah, you could pair have a wine with your aromatherapy line. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't see why that would be a bad idea. So you know, hey, that's something else I'm putting on my list. Thank you for putting more on my plate, Nelly. But no, really, I appreciate well, you, that. Uh, because the way I envision it, I mean, if you were going to do a commercial for it, I mean, you basically could have somebody in the bath or doing whatever, and they have their glass of wine with it, and then I'm like, yeah. Well, I actually already have a commercial that's out, um, and it's more of just basically 
um, showing uh, someone's demonstrating how the um, how you're using the product. Right. But um, I've never thought of incorporating, you know, that other aspect to it, which would be, once again, you're full of great ideas. We need to talk after the show. <laughs> yeah. No, well, it just came to me while you were um, while you were chatting about it. So right now we're going to yeah. play. Say my name. Tell people what that's about. All right. Well, um, <laughs> say my name is a beautiful song um, that was written by myself and a young guy that's in Connecticut named by the name of Tony Blunt. Um, it was released a few years ago. I, ho- I hope you really love it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to play a word from our sponsors. I'm going to mute you. Mood on a second. Hi, this is Nikki Chris, and I host a podcast called Mixin' It. Mixin' It focuses on women in the music, entertainment, and the performing arts. Our goal is to provide an avenue for industry veterans and -and up-and-coming artists, musicians, engineers, and producers to showcase their talent. Listen to Mixin' It on Monday Music Madness at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Sim Radio Network. 6 o'clock p.m. Message in my DM. You said you just got out of work. You really want to slide through. And I know I want to see you, damn right. Take it on, boy, show us the letter to the ceiling. Pandora said to Joe to see, boy, you gotta hit the fast lane. Cause my body's in a frenzy. Ooh, when you get here, better say my name. Thank you, thank you. That's a very, very sexy song. 
Thank you. It's time. Wow. It's time for something new. <laughs> but thank you so much for playing it. Um, but so, I mean, there's also a music video for it, right? There is a music video that's currently on YouTube. So um, if you can follow me on YouTube, it's Victoria the Vocalist on YouTube, and that video is there. And you and don't you want to put a warning label on it? Uh, no, there's no warning label. All I gotta say is that you need to be grown and sexy when you tune in. <laughs> okay, well there's a the warning label. <laughs> uh, how would you how would you describe your music? Well, um, I can definitely say that it's basically um, it's very eclectic because you know there are elements of all of the um, all of the, the music that I listen to that I've grown up to. Um, which includes R and B, soul, jazz, gospel. I like a little rock, you know, classical. So you know, you will probably find you know, all of those elements if you look, you know, if you really listen to all of my music. Hip hop, that's another one. So I'm um, basically, you know, a collaborative um, fusion of mm-hmm. different music styles in my music. What would you? What advice would you give your younger self? Um, I probably would say, you know, um, don't be afraid to do what's in your heart. You know, you're going to have a lot of people who, you know, are going to try to discourage you. Um, and my younger self was probably a little bit more vulnerable than I am. So Mm -hmm. I probably, uh, I, I know I fell into, you know, some of the, um, the traps of bullying, you know, or or things that will create self-doubt, right? Right. So, um, you know, I definitely would say, you know, stand firm and continue to, you know, um, just do what do what's in your heart and just don't give up. You meant to that, sister. How do you deal with writer's block if you ever get it? If I ever get it, I get it all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you really have to find a place of quiet. Um, you know, sometimes it's hard to write when you have life going on. Um, and sometimes you have to let life just go, just happen, because that's where you get your stories from anyway. You know, right. especially people who are, if you're writing, if you're a real artist where you're writing from your heart and this is what's going on with you, not just fabricating some stuff or talking about whatever you saw in a movie. Um, right. But sometimes you have to trust the process, and a lot of times a part of the process is just living life. So you got to just, you know, um, just just let life, just just live life. It'll come to you. You know, God will give it to you. Mm-hmm. But you have to you have to go through the journey. You have to experience the journey in order to be able to provide a testimony. So, Amen to that. Are there any tours in your future? Well, before COVID, you know, we were trying to go to the UK on that tour, Miss Natalie Jean Jean Nat. <laughs> But, um, you know, that's something that we, and listen, don't try to fake on me, girl. After this COVID thing is over, we're still getting back on the daggone horde. And that's where we we are. um, Mm. I'm sorry? What'd you say? It's an army now. (laughs) Uh, Well, listen, don't play. So that is definitely, you know, the the post-COVID plan is to get back, is to basically pick up where we, we left off. Um, and the UK was our target, um, and that's the that's my goal. Awesome sauce. Who would you say are, um, is, are your main musical influences? Uh, well, I have several. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if we have time to even name everybody. But um, some of my top folks are like, you know, Shaka Khan. I'm a huge Shaka mm-hmm. Khan fan. That's that's mother to me. And his mother, you know, um, you know, Whitney Houston, I love Anita Baker and, you know, Millie Jackson, you know, okay. Michael Jackson, you know, Prince, you know, a lot of different, a lot of Bon Jovi, you know, Mahalia mm-hmm. Jackson, you know, all Jackson. But, um, yeah, so a, a lot of different people, a lot. And also, you know, some of the new, uh, the newer artists as well, like Jill Scott and, you know, Miss Erica Baidu, you know, I do respect you know, their craft because they are, you know, folks who are paving the way for right. young artists like myself. So, you know, you have to let us see, you know, got to give respect to them as well. The great list of people. 
I love it. I love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Where is the craziest place you came up with a um a song? The craziest place? Like for example, I always come up with songs in the shower. That that's what the best place for me to to really come up with a song. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know if that would be considered crazy. Um, I mean, I think of things in the shower. I think of things when I'm driving. Um, sometimes God will give it to me in my sleep and I will wake up and have to grab my phone and sing into it. Mm-hmm. So I don't I don't I don't consider any of those situations or those you know, I don't consider them crazy. Um, so I don't know of a crazy place <laughs> um, besides the places I just named to you. All righty then. Uh, what do you enjoy most about being an artist? Freedom. You know, music is free. Mm-hmm. So I can, I can say how I feel. Um, sometimes we may not be able to art- articulate ourselves, um, and people, we do it all the time. You know, someone may not be able to articulate themselves just talking to you. They'll put it in the song or it's in a poem. You know, um, people are in relationships where they, you know, they can't say what they want to say, but, you know, they'll give you a card with right. something on it that someone has created, you know. So um, it, it, it's one of those things. All righty. That, like that's like, that sounds like a very good answer. What does your music say about <laughs> you? About me? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, so far you guys haven't heard enough. Okay. So, um, you know, basically, like I said, the project that's coming out right now is something that's more um, that I wrote off of uh, self-reflection. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't really choose these things. I mean, I really wanted my next project to be about sex, to be honest with you. That's what I wanted to write about. I wanted to write about sex. But that's not what was given to me. So <laughs> what was given to me was something in regards to self reflection So it just hit me. And I, maybe because of what's going on in the world, um, like I said, it gave me a moment of, of quiet. Mm. Um, so it's like, you know, whatever comes up, you know, whatever, whatever happens, you know, I can't call it. You know, it's 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 a it's a spiritual thing. I can't call it. Uh huh. I hear you. I understand. I, I get you. Um, but I think that the world is ready for whatever you have to say. That's for sure. Tell our audience where they can find you on the internet. Yes. Um, you can find me on Satoria dot net, and my name is S E T O R I A. Dot net. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, YouTube, um, everywhere, everywhere. Satoria. You're on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Yes, yes, I'm on Twitter. Oh, so I'm on Twitter as Satoria the Vocal. Yes, I'm on Twitter. I gotta find you. I know, the thing is, I'm. The, I don't. You, I am, but you know what? I don't like. I'm not on Twitter like that. I have a page. Yeah, that's what I'm you know, saying. But I don't. That's why it's like I'm not friend. that active. Yeah, I'm not that active on Twitter. I'm on LinkedIn too, but you know, I got work to do. Okay, it's hard. Yeah. You <laughs> it's definitely hard keeping up. Yep. It's too much. Yeah. I'm getting ready to open a TikTok account. You know, it'll be TikTok tutorial too. I don't know. It's, you it's like too much. You definitely need to get on LinkedIn because you're a businesswoman. But uh, well, I'm on LinkedIn. Yeah, well, you okay. You need to be more active. Let me put it to active. you. That's, mm-hmm. that's this woman. But I want to thank yeah. you, Satoria. Yes, active. I want to thank you, Satoria, for being on Chatting with Nat. She is the R&B artist, extraordinaire, entrepreneur, Satoria. Um, I'll be following you. I'll be chatting with you. I'll be tweeting and finding you. So I want to thank you for being on the show. Um, it was truly an honor, and I hope you have a great evening. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you, you know, just for supporting, you know, indie artists, you know, and also, you know, you're a great artist yourself. So for the simple fact that you are reaching down to, you know, um, bring up others, you know, I, kudos to that because you're, you're, you're awesome. All right. Thank you so much. I hope thank you have an you. awesome Have a good night, Nat. Same to you. Good night. Okay.
Bye. Good night. Chatting with Nat.